Hey everybody, Sean here from Board Paracord, and today we're going to do a quick deploy for like your everyday carry items or your zipper pulls. So this this will be attached to like a multi-tool or a or a knife or your zipper pull or like a, a jacket zipper on a jacket or backpack something like that and right along the lines it's it's going to be very compact about eight to ten feet. I have ten feet of electric blue here. Um, probably won't use all of it, but we'll use pretty much a, a good majority of it. First thing we want to do on the end of the cord is just do a simple overhand knot, which is just a matter of creating a loop and going through that loop like this. And you want about an inch of cord coming out of the knot. Pull that tight. So real easy like that. Now. You want to put the knot at the top of your hand like this. I'll back up just a little here. And we're just going to wrap around your hand two times. Or one time. One full pass. So you'll have something like this. So it's from here, down, back, and then back down this way. So again, just hold it in your hand, wrap. So that's one and then down, that's one and a half. Slide that off, try and keep that distance. This is a good distance for it. Um, I'm gonna slide all of this cord down onto the floor. There we go. And you should have something that looks like this. It's just basically a cord that goes down, back, and then off this way. And I'm gonna hold it like this with my left hand, take the cord around the back. This is the working end around the back and we're just going to twist it around like this and the easiest way to do this is with your left hand is just to rotate this whole thing like this now one thing i did notice that i need to do is i need to make this loop a little bit longer so in order to do that we need to slide it this way and then bring more cord into it this way. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll just start wrapping it a little bit further down this way. That. So your right hand is basically guiding the cord. Oops, you don't want to let go because it will loosen way up on you. So the left hand is twisting the the whole thing, the right hand is guiding the cord, making sure that it's nice and tight, just like that. And this, this is super easy, super quick, very beginner style, something you can do without a whole lot of cord knowledge. This would work with shoelaces too, I think. Any kind of real uh, flexible cord or rope. Now when we start getting down to this other end here, it is easier to just use this end and twist like that. And you want to leave a loop here and enough of a loop for two cords to pass. So one of those being this end here. So let's see, I've got my tightening tool here, which I'll use just to open that up. We're just we're gonna leave the knot on one side, but we're gonna put the cord through like that. We want this knot to stay on this side without going actually through. So we just want the cord to go through there, but the knot to stay on this side. And now we wrapped one way. Now what we're going to do is wrap it the other way and then go back one more time. So we'll start that. Now I'm wrap now I'm twisting with my right hand. And my left hand is just guiding. And this goes very quickly. And the longer you make this, the more cord that you're going to need. It's a very densely wrapped kind of key fob or fob or lanyard or it's just a great way to hold some paracord in case you ever need it. That's why it's good to put it on a knife. Now I don't want to go too far because I don't want this to fall off the end. So I'm going to go right about there 
and then we're going to change directions again because we don't want it to fall and make sure you're keeping this nice and tight there we go and we're just headed back the other way looks like I'll have enough cord here I did a couple of these in the practice before the video and I didn't have enough cord I was using six feet and I was coming up just a little short each time There we go. All right, so now that I'm at this end, I need to make sure that this stays tight. Otherwise, everything's just gonna kind of fall apart. And I have a little bit more cord here than I thought I would. Um, so we have one cord that's going through this loop one way. That's kind of like our pin. That's what we pull when we wanna pull everything out of here. Um, but we also are going to have another one that's going to go the opposite way and that's that's our working end here so what we need to do here maybe I'll take it through one we'll go we'll wrap one more time and then on this one we'll go through the whole the opposite way of the other one I can get it through there it's hard to hold everything together there we go. Pull that through. Just like that. And get underneath of that. There we go. So now we have one cord. Actually, it doesn't even matter, I don't think. Yeah, because when you pull the center one out, when you pull on this, when you pull the pin out, and you're going to use this knot for, for grip to be able to pull. So when you pull this out, you're pulling all the inner strands out. And what will happen is this loop right here that you went through will get pulled out as well. So you won't have to take this piece out. You'll just have to take the short end out. But the last thing we need to do here, make sure that this is tight, the piece that you had wrapped around. So we'll get all that slack out that way, just like that. And then this loop here that is actually attached to this, we need to pull it down. So one good way to do that, you got a couple options. You can use your tightening tool, grab this and pull. I like this option a little better because you can roll it and it's just a matter of figuring out which one you need to pull here oops sorry about that i think it's this one one of these two is connected to that which will keep that from coming out so i'll tighten that up like that and <laughs> it's pretty tight i might have wrapped it a little too tight but i think I think we're okay. It's, it's this one. Okay, that's the one that just tightened this down. So in order to get this to work, what you're going to do is where this knot is, you're going to pull this and pull this little piece out. And I'm going to actually shorten that, and then we're going to cut this off. And I'll show you how to do that. So I've got a pair of scissors here. So we'll just cut Cut this, you're going to want to cut this on an angle like that. And the reason you cut this on an angle is when it melts, you don't want a ball at the end. You want it to be able to pull right through. So by cutting it on an angle, you're actually tapering it just like that. And that will allow it to pull through fairly easy. Now this one, we're going to cut about here. <clears throat> and then just seal the end just like you normally would now this is the end that would go on to your zipper and this is another reason why you want to make this a little bit longer is so that you can put that on your zipper but the the satisfying part of this is when you pull the pin grab hold of that knot and everything just pulls right out but uh, I hope you like this. 
It's a great way to hold about eight feet of paracord on your zipper, on your multi-tool, your knife, your keys, all sorts of different things. Um, and I don't know, I don't know if I have a name for this. Maybe we'll call it like the paracord caterpillar or something like that. Quick deploy caterpillar, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button. Let me know what you're putting these on. I'd, I'd love to know if there's any other tools that you're throwing these on just to keep some paracord around. And don't forget to uh, please support our, our website, boardparacord.com. Um, that's, that's the whole reason I'm making these videos. So um, until next time, paracord on. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button to your left. There's other great videos all the time and there's a few to the right side of the screen and you can also buy Paracord at our site with the link at the bottom left. Thank you again for watching.